This is who I was, but it's definitely not who I am. Welcome to Vegas Prison Stories. All right. You're in Las Vegas. You're having a great time. You get too drunk because the drinks are pretty free. And then you get your ass thrown in jail. Where are you going to go? What's that going to be like? I got the answers for you. So your poor ass has ended up in the Clark County Detention Center. 300 South Casino Center Drive. That's been my address for probably a few years of my life. If I add all of it up. Talk about shitty real estate. Man. I've been in there a few New Year's and there's no more miserable time than them locking you down and then you hear the fireworks going off. It's like, God, man, I could be out there partying right now, but my dumb ass had to do dumb ass shit and here I am. So the very first thing you need to know, they bring you in through this sally port with the, the, the car, you know, comes in, big door shuts behind, blah, 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 take you out of the car, walk you through these sally ports, boom. First room, you're gonna go in this room, bunch of chairs, you're gonna talk to the nurse, they gotta know everything about you. You know, they're gonna ask you all kinds of stupid questions. You're gonna get your charge sheet. Then it is, go on through, get your picture taken, all that good jazz, go to the next room, sit there, go get fingerprinted, blah, 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 right? What affiliation are you? Why you got wood on the back of your arm. Oh, you're a security threat group. That type of garbage. You finally make it to the tank. Now, here's the most miserable place in the fucking world. I mean, you're sleeping on the floor next to bums, killers. It don't matter. They just randomly throw everybody in the tank together. You'll have 20, 30 dudes in there. You're sleeping on your shoe. If you're the first one in the tank, hey, grab that roll of toilet paper. That's a good pillow. It's cold as hell. If you're ever going to get arrested and you know you're about to get arrested, wear a long sleeve t-shirt to go to county. I promise. You'll, you'll thank me later. I don't care if it's 115 degrees outside. Wear that long sleeve in there. So you're eating these sorry ass, you know, bologna sandwiches. Three days is the longest I've ever been down there waiting just to go upstairs. It's gnarly. You go in, they finally call your name after anywhere from one day to, to three days, they take you all back to dress out. It's time to get butt naked. These dudes like to look at booty holes too. Squat, cough, lift your sack, all of it, man. I, I just, <sighs> here's the stupid thing. Oh, I'm not even gonna give up game on how, how we get things through, Never mind. Not even gonna say the stupid thing. I don't wanna mess that up for everybody. So anyway, they give you your blues, which is like this county blue shirt, county blue pants, sorry ass flip-flops that mess your feet up. I mean, literally your feet got to get used to these damn shower shoes. That's what you got. They're not even giving you Bob Barkers. They're just, you got to, you got to be a trustee or get in and buy one from a trustee just to get the Bob Barkers. It's garbage. Depending on your charges, you could go to the North Tower or you could go to the South Tower. The South Tower is all dorm living, right? I, I've only been to South Tower like once, I think twice actually. Yeah, twice. North Tower is your normal pod style jail, right? That's where all the violent offenders are. Uh, there's different security levels on different units. And I think there's what, nine floors the last time? I think nine is the highest I've gone at least. And then in the South Tower, I think the highest I've gone is, is the sixth floor. But I'm not sure if there's anything above that. Anyway, if you go to the South Tower, just know you're going to be sleeping. I mean, you have your own little, I don't know, cubicle area with your bed. You got a bunk and a desk. Everything smells like boo-boo in there. Everybody, you know, it's just a horrible time. There's this little day room. And it's got the tables and that's where you're going to eat chow. Then there's two TVs. They're just looking for any reason to, to lock you down in there. The COs are complete dicks. The COs are Metro. They're Metro officers. I don't know. Uh, I mean, every time I've gone in there, I've seen the same faces when it comes to the COs. And uh, I can't really say that there's like a CO that's on my mind where I'm just like, oh, that dude was cool, right? They're all garbage. We had this one. I don't even remember her name. She used to like to yell and scream and all that stupid shit. She'd be blah, blah, blah all day. 
And this was in the South Tower, right? Non-violent offenders. I don't know how many bunks they would have in a row. Let's see. Probably like 60 of them. And then they would have that back wall would have bunk beds on it. I mean, you probably have 60, 80 guys in there. Uh, free to roam. But they lock you on your bunk like you're, I don't know, in camp or some shit. Anyway, this chick comes outside of her neck yelling one day. And we're all like laying down. And she just feels the need to be, you know, super hard. Well, her husband's like goon squad or some shit. You know, she's outside of her neck, blah, blah, blah. Finally, I'm just, I'm laying in my bed. I just yell, shut up, bitch. Oh man, that was the wrong move. Who said that? Who said, this bitch is up and down every aisle, man. I'm waiting for one of these fucking bums to point me out. Luckily, nobody did. They brought the whole goon squad in there shaking shit down in the South Tower like they're going to find something. It's a, it, that's the type of people they are there, though. Going to court, they'll call you up for court at like 6 a.m. Your ass got to get in the chains and go downstairs and go sit in court holding. And, you know, you're looking to see who you can find that you know, trying to chop it up. Everybody's miserable. Everybody's asking each other, you know. Hey, nice to see you again. How long are you going to be away this time? That type of shit. It was just a miserable place to be. County jail sucks. I spent almost pretty much all of 2007 besides, I don't know, the three, the three months on the end of 07 when, I, when they had already shipped me to prison. But I did the end of 06 all the way to May. Then I was out for three weeks. I told that story. Then I was back in for another three months and then they sh shot me up to prison. That's a hard time. Hard time in the county. Everything's expensive. Phone calls are expensive. The food is garbage. The food is complete trash. I mean, they would have like, we, I don't know, we call them donkey dongs, like a little hot dog day. Sometimes that was all right. I mean, it just garbage. Just whoever, man, fuck y'all for that shit. Period. Fucking garbage pill kids. Nobody want to eat that garbage. And you can't buy better garbage. That's the problem. You're butt naked souping. They don't got like beans or cheese or they got chips. They got soups. They got candy bars. I mean, that's the type of junk you don't even need. You could even buy Cokes there, I think. But no ice, of course. So here, here's your hot ass Coke. I remember one time I was in the South Tower and we, you go outside and you have the rec yard, right? And up above us, we could look, and it was the female pod. Boy, them girls, they were showing it all for us. It was all bad, or all good. It just depends on who you are. The place is a maze. It really is. Like, trying to figure out where you're at when you're in Clark County Detention Center is like being in the back halls of a hospital. You just don't, you don't ever know where you're at. As for sleeping... There's no pillows. There's no, none of that. There's, here's this county ass blanket, you know, the thin little mattress. You might as well just be sleeping on that hard metal bunk. You got nothing. You got nothing coming. People walk by. The bunk's so short, sometimes my feet would hang out if I didn't push my head all the way up against a little wall trying to sleep. And somebody come by, they bump your foot or something. Man, I can't tell you how many fights start over that touching me in my sleep. I don't care if it's an accident or not, bro. Ugh. Now, a lot of people have asked me, do I know this dude from bum fights or that dude from bum fights? So I was locked up in the North Tower with Rufus from bum fights. I'm going to try and find his picture, put it up here. Rufus was legit. Like the dude, I heard many times he would get out of county and a limo would be there to pick his ass up. And he had bum life tattooed on like this dude. He looked like he had been through it, though. His face looked like like a prize bare knuckle boxer. He was just fucked up. He just looked fucked up all the time. It was kind of, kind of sad, really. I wonder what happened to old Rufus. So in there, they have the pill line, too. And uh, they'd be giving out these psych meds. And this dude cheeked his shit. And he gave a uh, Seroquel to some dude that don't really do drugs. He was some young kid that was just like, yeah, I'll, I'll take one. They had to take this this fool out on a stretcher. It was insane. I remember one time we were locked up. They locked the whole place down. We were in there. I guess that bodybuilder, Titus, I might do a story on him. He tried to escape. Locked the whole place down for like two weeks. And that's garbage time. 
I think, yeah, I was in the North Tower at the time, so it didn't really matter that much. But I could only imagine being in the South Tower, being locked down, because somebody tried to escape from the North Tower. And, like, you just got to lay on this bed, really. Now, they have all the books in the world for you, so that's cool. And they, they bring in a newspaper, at least they did at this time, bring in a newspaper every morning. So people, you know, they get the newspaper, copy down the crossword, whatever. You got a lot of time on your hands. You do some interesting shit to uh, keep the time. You're not going in anybody else's cell, really, in the North Tower. The North Tower is, I don't know. It's like, picture the worst prison you could ever think of. It's like Mexican prison. There it is. There it is. It's like Mexican prison. Fucking North Tower's garbage. North Tower is garbage. North Town is garbage too. Jesus Christ. For the entire years that I've been getting locked up and, and going to county fighting cases and stuff, they always had this one woman that would come out and she would talk on the speaker, right? She would call out different things. Not like court date names and stuff. That would be whoever the cop is that's in there in, in the unit with you. I don't know, she was in the control center or something. Uh, sweetest voice in the whole wide world, man. That woman, I could just imagine how she walks by by the tone of her voice. It was insane. It, it was, she was, ooey, I bet she was a handful. So anyway, if you're unlucky enough and it's like some little misdemeanor charge and it's in the city limits, you're asked going to city jail. That's the worst jail in all of Vegas. And I, I, you know, I mean, every jail sucks, right? Northtown, at least Northtown's kind of, I don't know, newer. Uh, this city jail at Stuart Mojave is garbage. And that was a new jail because they had condemned the old one, which I've been in that one too. That one was, ugh, fuck that place. So anyway, Stuart Mojave, you go in there, you're in there with hookers and bums and, and you know, weirdos. Oh my. You sit in, in this little intake cell. Every intake cell smells the same. It smells like feet, dick, butt, you know, throw up. That's, that's, mix all those together in a blender, that, and pour it on the floor. That's exactly what it is. It's, oh, oh my God. Now, you go into the city jail, they'll throw you in there. You'll have, if you're a white, white dude, you'll have, a black dude in your cell. I had a Korean dude, Tech Bet, who had written bad checks to to the casinos. And they had put us on county overflow in city. And I tried to buck it and go to the hole in county. Like, I'm not going to city if I'm doing county time. Just because y'all need more room. And county has like a unit over at Stuart Mojave. But... I mean, they, they took me over there, drug me over there, really. Kicking and screaming and everything. So I had this Korean dude, Tech Beck, and he would sing these Korean, I don't know, lullabies at night. I miss Tech Beck. Boy, he put me right to sleep with that shit. What a good dude. I wonder what ever happened to him. I ended up getting in a fight a couple of days after being there anyway, just so that I can get sent back to county. I don't care if I'm going to the whole in county or not. The whole in county is better than the main line in city jail. City jail just fucking sucks. Fuck. Oh, they had this fish one time. Oh my God. None of us would eat it. None of us. But there was this, what are they called now? They're not, you can't call them bums. Unhomed. Is that it? Unhomed. There was a homeless motherfucker in there. He couldn't get enough of this fish slop is what it was. It was like fish with this goo all over it, and they put it on rice. Uh, whoever made that shit needs to have their ass kicked. That shit was about as interesting as two blind people fucking, man. It was horrible. So this dude, he couldn't get enough of it, though. So he got everybody's. That's probably the best that dude's eaten in 10 years. Oh, But you could buy a lot of store in the city. The problem is you're in there with a bunch of misdemeanor motherfuckers. So nobody's really doing any real time there. So if you get store, you know, they're like, hey, man, let me get th this. You're basically trading your store for cakes. Not those kind of cakes. The cakes at dinner. God dang. We're going to edit that right out too. Shit. So, I mean, there's no good place in the Las Vegas Valley to do time. In a jail setting, at least. 
they did have, I, I went to Henderson jail the one time I told you I got caught in a uh, stolen car up there at the Walgreens. They give you your, your bedroll right away. Like you're in the, you're in the intake tank sleeping on a mattress. How fucking legit was that? The food was pretty bomb. I can't lie. Henderson jail. Look, those cops, they're crazy with it, right? They're arresting everybody. Hide your kids, hide your wife, but if you got to go to jail, shit, man. You better hope you're bidding your time up there. That's the only good place. County jail's garbage. They need to condemn that place. They need to condemn the cops that work there. Jesus. Somebody got sued. I think they killed somebody in there. I'm going to have to look that up. Maybe I'll do a story on it. Now that I think about it, I'm going to have to do a story on them. Ruthless Vatos there, man. They are garbage pail kids. They don't give a shit about anything. I know there's that one... I used to have it out with him all the time. Kick my brother out of court. If I saw that dude walking down the street today, being, I've changed my life. If I saw him walking down the street today, I might fire on that dude. I'd take the charge. That's how much hate I have for that one motherfucker because of his power trip. And they do that because they can do that with bums and people that are like misdemeanoring, trying to bond out on little ass DUIs and shit. Take your ass to prison, tough guy. Act like that on the level four and see what we do. You're not going to act like that with a dude that don't care. So those are the jails, basically. That's 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 what you got. Then there's the Northtown Jail. I don't really know much about it. I know it's the Fed holding. I know that they had Fed holding also in the county overflow in city at Stuart Mojave the one time I was there. Because there were Fed, Fed cases that were walking around, you know on hold it was crazy don't go to jail in las vegas how about that if you do good luck man i can only imagine what it looks like now probably more of the same somebody's probably wearing the same shirt i wore god what's it been 15 years ago the last no 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 because i got out then i got violated in 09 what's that i can't think right now i'm, I'm here we are 12 years ago. Nailed it. Fucking rocket science. How did I get stumped on something stupid like that? That's that's me. That's me tonight, man. Trying to do this video. I'm like, shit. I don't even know. I'm not feeling it. But I want to do the video on the jails. It is what it is. It's jail. You know, I was in a car accident one time. I had a warrant for like, I don't know, driving without a license, driving with no insurance, driving with no registration. I was the king of the trifecta back then. I didn't ever get none of that shit. I, I owned two cars and never had any of that shit. It was crazy. So I'm in somebody else's car. We get T-boned. My, my elbow is like hanging off, basically. The cop arrests me for those petty ass little warrants, gets on the radio, asks them what jail he has to take me to, I heard the cop come over the radio laughing at him and tell him, you got to go to city jail, misdemeanor cop. I almost died laughing. So I get there and the doctor's like, this dude is fucked up. What are you doing? He needs to go to a hospital. Bro, I was like, yeah, I'll call, I'll call somebody to take me to the hospital. I don't need an ambulance. I went walking down the street with my shit hanging. Got to the first casino, called up the homies. Come get me. Come get me right now. Those are the kind of cops... Don't mess around at all in Vegas. I've seen attempt jaywalking. Attempt jaywalking. How do you attempt to jaywalk? Either you do it or you don't. Did the dude like swing his foot over the curb? Attempt jaywalking. There's stories of people defacing a hamburger, which I heard is a charge for throwing lettuce or tomatoes off your hamburger onto the ground. But I never met anybody with that charge, but I heard about it. Maybe it's urban myth. Somebody can help me out. I don't know. Shit. Y'all probably aren't even watching anymore. If you are, and you know, let me know. That's wild shit. How do you take somebody to jail? This dude was in jail. His only charge was attempt jaywalking. What kind of cocksucker cop does that shit? Metro. Do better. Do better. Do better and, and people like me won't be shitting on you all the time. Fucking horrible. This video sucks too. Ah well. It is what it is. It's the Wednesday video. I wasn't even going to do a video tonight. But. Because I'm working on the OJ one. And that's a lot. That's a lot of research. I was thinking about just doing a live. But. That's petty. 
I like to make videos. I go live every now and then. I go live like twice a week, try and make three videos a week, and then try to take two days off. All right. Thanks for listening to this bullshit and uh, sticking with me through it. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time. That's a little bit better, huh? No, that's garbage. You're a fucking idiot. Why do you do this to yourself? <sighs> and I'll see you next time. No, no, we already said that's not it. God damn it, Rick. No, you're not Hawaiian. I'll fucking see you next time. Bye, everybody. This is who I was, but it's definitely not who I am. Welcome to Vegas Prison Stories.